Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Sister Gloria. Y'all, it's a wonderful day to be alive, saved, sanctified, here with a purpose. Y'all, we ain't here just to be here, y'all. We here because God has a plan for our lives. And what a blessing to know that if God be for us, who could be against us? Y'all, we are so blessed. Don't matter what's going on in our lives, y'all. We are blessed. We are blessed. If you just take a look around, just look around and just tell God, thank you. You could be going through something right now and you begin to give God praise and you, you know, thanks, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever's going on, it'll lift off of you. It will. When you just say, Lord, I just thank you, Lord. Lord, bless me. The Lord has blessed me with so, so much. It might not be much to you, but to just to be able to get up and prepare for the day. Get up. Giving him, first of all, getting up and saying, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you, God. Thank you walking through your house, doing things preparing for church, preparing for work, preparing for whatever. That's a blessing that God decided to blow on us and cause us to get up. You know, alarm clock wake us up. Your spouse didn't wake you up. It was the mercies of God. He's with us, y'all. The true and living God. Y'all, he ain't dead. He's very much alive. And he's alive in us, y'all. He's alive in us. Yeah, he's alive. My God, the true and living God, the all-seeing, all-knowing, all-powerful God is residing on the inside of me, on the inside of you. I I, I thank him. I thank him because, y'all, if we just look back over our lives and see how far God has brought us and see how he's kept us, he kept us from ourselves. He kept us from losing our minds. Y'all, we got so much to be thankful for. I was just sitting here and I and I uh, I'm, I'm looking at the trees and there's so many of them. And I, I'm just seeing all this. It's just, it's a beautiful sight. And um, as we get closer and closer to the to the fall, you know, the leaves going to start to turn. They ain't start, they ain't turned yet, just yet. But it's it's coming. But right now, y'all, just look at this, how, how full the trees look. Just look. I'm going to make me do it, but okay well you can't see it right now but anyway it's just it's so many trees I, I can't even count them and they are full God did that God did that he caused the trees to to grow to flourish to to cause us to have shade and it, it, I, I just I, I I I just can't even comprehend the things that God does. How he how he keep us, y'all. How he provide for us. Just so grateful. I don't know about nobody else. Just I'm just giving God. I'm just I'm just giving him glory. Cause he's so he's so he's so loving. He's so compassionate. He long suffering. You know, just keep on, you know, waiting on us and waiting on us to do what we supposed to do, waiting on us to come to him. Yeah. Our God. I'm glad about. It. I'm glad to be able to share Jesus Christ with somebody, to tell somebody that Jesus loves them and he wants you. He wants you with your flaws. He, he want me. He, 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 don't, he don't care. He don't even care what you've done. He just said, come. Come unto me. If you're heavy laden, come unto me. He said, I'll give you rest. Yeah, God want us to rest in him. Not in all the cares of this world. Because see, y'all, if we try to keep up with the world system, we'll be in a mess. That's why he tell us to set our affections on things above. 
not on things in this earth. Cause we get sick, we, we we get our our heart and stuff all you know closed up on on the world stuff. We won't even want to leave. <laughs> we won't even want to leave this place. But y'all, it's a blessing to know this ain't our home, y'all. We ain't from around here. This ain't our home. Mm -mm. We just passing through. We passing through. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be beat up. We're going to suffer some things. But that's all right. It's, it's temporary. It ain't forever. At least we know if we stay with Christ, we abide in him and he abide in us. After a while, y'all. After a while. It'll be all over. Who knows when? Nobody. Don't nobody know. But we got something to look forward to. Yeah. We got something to look forward to. Thank you, Lord. I thank him. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful and thankful when I think about the goodness of the Lord. And I say, Lord, let me see. It's been 30 years. I'm still here. <laughs> I, I, I'm, it's like sometimes you, you're, you're speechless. You ever been speechless? You was like, you you in awe. You, you like, you shocked. You know, when you really, you think, about, you think back and you see, you see many that have gone on. But you still here. God kept you. Even though, you know, people looking for you to crumble. For you to just go on and just wither up and die. But God had his hands. God had, God, yeah, had and still got his hands on us. I'm so grateful. I, I know y'all are too. I know y'all are. I give him glory. Glory to his name. You know what, y'all? No matter what we obtain on this earth. I don't care what it is. To God be the glory. Yeah, we thank God. We thank God for stuff. Hallelujah. But as the Lord uh, blesses the people of God, as we be become mature in the things of God and we're learning more and more because we ain't going to never uh, uh, know it all. Praise God. I pray, my prayer is that we don't ever try to take his glory or ever think that we have done anything. Because, y'all, it ain't, we can't do nothing. It ain't even about us. It's, a, it, 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 it's about Jesus Christ. It's about doing, being the service that he has called us to be, doing the work. We all got to work. If, if we say and feel with the Spirit, we got a work to do for the Lord. Yeah. I, I'm just here. I'm just glorifying God today. Because y'all, I'm grateful. I'm so thankful for everything. I thank him for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I remember one time y'all, this lady told me, she said, she was, she's, a, she's a pastor. Uh, well, she's, I think she's a pastor. She said her husband got in an accident. And he had been wanting this certain type of car. And he got the car because he was in an accident. And but this the how she summed it up. This is what she told me. I, I couldn't I, I couldn't see it at the time. She said, God will create a He will create some cause things to happen so that that could happen. And I, I, I said, well, that don't, that don't make sense because uh, God don't cause no accidents. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I still can't get with that because I just don't see God causing a, an accident. Because I said, well, you said the accident was so bad, he could have he could have died, but he did. But he was able to get a car. But I, 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 I just don't agree with that because... I just think God ain't that kind of God that he would cause somebody to have an accident. That didn't make sense to me. 
But I will say God will let we we can see that something good could, can come out of something bad. Maybe maybe that's what she was saying, and I, she didn't say it like that. But uh, anyway, I, I I I'm saying that because we could think our situations are so bad that there's no way that I can come out of this. There's no way that God going to heal me. It's a lie. God is a healer. He was healing back 2,000 years ago, and he's healing today. Yes, I tell my testimony. I tell it to the glory of God. It, I, I know God, uh, he kept me. I know God's hands are on me, and I give him glory, and I share it because I want somebody out there to know don't matter what it is, HIV, AIDS, diabetes, any type of cancer, but we know God to be a healer. People have had tumors and stuff growing in their bodies and, 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 and then they get the report and they say you have so long to live. But God, but God, God got the last say so. You can find out it might be, they say you got four weeks to live. God got the last say so. I remember I heard I heard a a a, a a a a mother, her son had went to hospice. When you go to hospice, they, they say you ain't coming out. Most most people say you don't come out. But this man came home and he lived. I, I if I'm not mistaken, I believe he lived over a month, maybe two months later. But he left hospice. Uh, talking, far as I know, I I do know he was talking. I I I give God the glory. That won't nothing but the hand of God. God so kind and merciful, He'll give you a chance to to repent of your sins. You repent, y'all. This ain't no time, y'all, to be going in and out, cause it ain't no guarantee that you gonna make it back in. So if you get it on the boat. If you get in the ark of safety, if you get on Jesus' side, stay on his side. Don't leave him. Because just as show as is, is, um, rice is fluffy, if it's cooked right, Jesus is coming. And we don't know when. Where the God said, no man knows the day nor the hour. We just know he's coming to get us, y'all. And we got to be ready. Now, I come up here to glorify his name. I'm, I'm done. I know there's, there's plenty, plenty of other things I could say. I'm, I'm going to go on and, and I'm going to get off here. And I pray that everybody have a good week. Yeah. Uh, and, and when you get up in the morning, Pray and give God the praise before you start your day. Glorify God. Thank him for leading and guiding you through the day. That's, that's, that's all I have. This is your sister Gloria. To God be all the glory. And I'll see y'all in the next video.